Hello guys, my name is Brittany and I'll be starting medical school this cycle. In my previous video, I shared my experiences interviewing with several schools. You can click on the link to watch that video first as this is the school review video. The acceptance students weekend started at the Rock and Soul Museum in downtown Memphis. I've lived here all my life but actually never set foot into this place. The first event was a meet and greet and we got the chance to meet our professors and future classmates. They had some small bites and refreshments, so it was a pretty chill occasion. However, it made me realize that I've gotten very antisocial. I took my best friends with me to the event and I stuck by them the whole entire time instead of trying to branch out. The only time I talked to anyone was when someone approached me first. Like, I don't even know how I became such a shy person. After the event, most people ate together at the rendezvous, but like I said earlier, I was being a bit antisocial, so I ate with my friends instead. I told myself that I'll try to be more social when orientation comes around. So we got some ramen at Good Fortune Company and it was so yummy. Afterwards, we went home. I was having an intense tension headache that I like to call the MCAT headache because I started getting them after taking the MCAT. It's a constant throbbing pain that feels like your head is about to explode. The next day, there was a morning yoga event that I didn't go to because it would mean that I had to drive all the way downtown, go back home and shower, and then come back downtown for the rest of the events. But I low-key wish I went because it would have been a good bonding experience. But anyway, on Saturday morning, we took a tour of the school, and just in case you guys didn't know, Baptist Health Sciences University has been here for years, but they just never had a program for physicians. So they built this building just for us. And the last time I saw this building, it was in construction and none of the walls were up, so it was really cool to see it completed and fully furnished. Every design and decoration was chosen with intention, and I love that there are so many windows letting in natural light. In areas where windows were not accessible, there were soft light boxes that change in brightness depending on the time of the day to mimic the sun. But hungry. They have this yummy cupcake. I want it. Bummy fasting. And, um, and... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Should I just put it in my pocket? <laughs> but overall, the building was absolutely beautiful and I was happy that I've chosen to spend the next couple of years here. After the tour, we had some time to wander around and enjoy the refreshments before the ribbon cutting ceremony. It was exciting to know that we'll be the first class using the facilities so everything will be nice and clean. We obviously could not have done this without all of your time, effort, and great work. Special thanks to the Rev. When the ceremony was over, there was an optional tour by Backbeat Bus Tours to explore the city of Memphis. Even though I was basically born and raised here, I wanted to go just for fun. We saw the Lorraine Motel, Elvis Presley's old apartment, had a barbecue tasting, which is why I'm actually glad we went because I was so hungry, and we also went through Beale Street. It was so funny seeing all my classmates that weren't from Memphis surprised by everything. We already seen basically everything because, you know, we're locals. What to bury these guys? And the city of Memphis just flat down refused to do anything, and he's going to get rid of it. So W.C. wrote a song making fun of the guy, but he was so on the hip, so clueless, he didn't realize the song was making fun of him. So he adopted that song as his campaign slogan. That's W.C. Handy right there. There's so much cotton right here on this corner, it looked like it was snowing. Here is a little merch haul. My sister got me this sweatshirt, which she says is an official sign of commitment to the school and I can't change my mind anymore. I'm so happy with my decision to attend ViewCom in the fall and can't wait to share my experiences here with you guys. Thanks for watching!